Hey everybody, this is uh, Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control, uh, local to Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, I know it's been a while since I've released a video, but uh, I just, you know, with all the holidays and I just hadn't had the time to put one together. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, I'm here today. I, I've had an older video and I'll uh, link it in the description below of uh, why heat treatments don't work on bed bugs. And this is a, a kind of a follow-up to that video to give you a little better idea what you can do yourself and how you can try to combat the problem. Uh, one of the biggest issues, I've had a lot of people message me, a lot of people call me. You know, I don't mind anytime. I'm always available for people to uh, ask questions from all over the country. Um, the thing is that, that a lot of people call. They say, you know, in my area, I've called a lot of exterminators, and they're demanding that the only way we're ever going to be able to get rid of these bed bugs is a heat treatment. Um, the, and, and one of the questions that people ask me is, what do I do if, uh, you know, that's what my exterminator is, 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 uh, requiring or all of the local exterminators, that's all they want to do. That's all they, they, uh, request be done. Um, I, I first, I want to explain that heat treatments, uh, don't always fail. I, I want to admit that. And maybe I wasn't very clear in my first video, but, um, they aren't always unsuccessful the reason that i made my video about heat treatments being unsuccessful is because i have had a lot of experience myself with people that uh you know they hire me because the heat treatment didn't work so what what i could explain is, is you you want to try to um you know yes your, your exterminator may want to do heat treatment the reason they want to do heat treatment is because they believe that it works they may have done prior homes where it has worked and it has been successful. Uh, I'm telling you that, that you know my business is based on heat treatments not working, uh, and I have to go behind people and fix their mistakes. So because they call me, or they may call me and they've never done it before at all, and the reason they call me is because I do chemical application and it's cheaper than a heat treatment. A lot of times, chemical application is for a budget. Uh, you know, you may have to deal with the bed bugs longer. It may take a little longer to get rid of them, but it's something that you need to do. Um, usually what I, what I have been advising people to do is if their local exterminators won't, uh, if they won't do a, uh, anything but a heat treatment, then you ask them, well, could you do chemical application on top of the heat treatment? A lot of exterminators will do that. You may pay an extra charge for that. Uh, the chemical, what what happens, like I've explained in my earlier video, and I'm not going to go into too much detail with it here because there's a couple more things I want to I want to go over with you, but um, is is heat treatments, uh, they like I said they they will work if if everything of all the variables come into play, everything works right. There are times it does fail, and most of the time I find that that's in older homes where they're just not sealed very tight. And the bed bugs have places they can retreat to to survive. They may go down into a basement. They may go up into an attic space. They may go into a wall void uh, and hide in the insulation where the heat will not get to them. It will not cook them. It will not kill them. Um, so in those instances, you want to spray along with your heat treatment. Uh, definitely. You know, most definitely. And that'll just cover all your bases. You know, that's one of the main things I'd like to, you know, go over here is, is the reason I don't do heat treatments is because... One, it's extremely expensive to the customer. Most people can't afford it. Um, and two, I I think that if you have to apply chemicals, you know, as a safeguard in order to kill the bed bugs uh, that don't die from the heat treatment, you might as well just spray anyway because the spray is going to kill them all. Um, now, this is one of the questions I've been asked uh, by people: is what can I do myself if if uh, you know no one around locally is going to be able to help me? Um, what can I do? And and I, I tell people. Uh, this is what I would do if I were in your shoes, is um, one, you, you really do need a chemical application. You know, a lot of people, there's a lot of different things out there uh, that people use uh, as far as natural remedies. A diatomaceous earth is a really big one. Uh, rubbing alcohol is one. Um, I'll put those to rest right now. Uh, rubbing alcohol will kill bugs. Uh, it's only going to last for about an hour, you know, as long as it takes to evaporate. It's going to evaporate. It's going to disappear. It's going to be gone. It's not going to give you a residual at all. Uh, I actually know a man that I went and sprayed his house for bed bugs, and he had, uh, he was waking up about every hour rubbing his body down with uh, rubbing alcohol. And that's just not, 
<laughs> just, I mean, the poor man, he was, I mean, all night long for, for weeks, he said that he would maybe get to maybe three hours of sleep at the time that he would uh, fall asleep. He was waking up to put rubbing alcohol on himself to try to keep the bed bugs off of him because they were that bad. He had gone that long with this problem, but he could not afford a conventional heat treatment. And so I went and I sprayed his house, and I, to the best of my knowledge, I only had to treat once, and he never had any bed bugs since. He hasn't been bit, and he had them in his closets. He had them in his clothes, and that's another another question I want to go over right now, is that bed bugs will live other places than your bed. Uh, they will not. They 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 will not stay on your bed. They will not. Uh, they will live on your headboards they will live on your box springs they will live on your mattress those are the number three places people find them they will also live behind your baseboards they will live behind crown molding on the ceiling they will live in your closets they will live in your clothes they will live in your uh, nightstand tables i found them in people's nightstands right because they're right beside the bed typically but they will live in your dressers they will go into other rooms of the house and live in rooms where there are no people um the reason this is is because uh, when bed bugs mate the uh, it's a very aggressive mating process and it can kill the female if she mates more than two or three times it can kill her so a lot of times what will happen is she will retreat into other rooms of the house uh, they still feed on people they'll still bite you they'll get into you know when you go into that room if you uh, a lot of people will move from their bed area to like a living room or uh, to sleep in like a lazy boy or they'll go into another bedroom, like a guest room, where they haven't had any bed bugs, and they'll notice within a day or two they start getting bit again. That's because the bed bugs are there too. They're all over the house. Uh, you know, typically now I don't know about you know nationwide because I know YouTube is worldwide, but um, you know, and I do get a lot of calls from out of state. You know, people call me from uh, the, the Carolinas. I've had calls out of Georgia. I've had calls out of uh, New York. I've had calls all over uh, emails and all kinds of things all over the country. Um, so I'm not sure what it's like in your state or the way that, that the chemicals are applied in your state or what's advised. But I know here that people will uh, say, well, you know, we charge $200, $300, $400 per room of your house and every room has to be done. So you're going to end up with a, you know, a bill of anywhere from $1,500 to, you know, three, four hundred, four, three, four, I'm sorry, $1,500 to about three to four thousand dollars. Um, that, you know, depending on the size of your home, you have to do the whole house. Because like I explained, the bed bugs will be in other rooms of the house as well. They won't just be in your bedroom where you sleep at night. Bed bugs feed at night. So that's why they're typically on your bed. But I have been in homes where people work the night shift and they're not at home. They'll come home in the morning. They'll go to bed. They'll sleep during the day. They get up and, uh, you know, around to work night shift again that evening eat maybe a little bit of breakfast what they consider breakfast would be dinner and then uh, they realize they have bed bugs on them um, so bed bugs will change their habits they will change uh, you know what time of day they bite you they'll bite you in the middle of the day if that's when they can get their food that's when they're going to bite you so like I was explaining what, what you really what you really want to do for yourself is it's really difficult to spray bed bugs yourself you need to uh, you really do need to find an exterminator um, that's what's going to do the best job. The problem is bed bugs are immune to most all conventional pesticides. Everything that you alone, you know, people, we have licenses, we're licensed, we're insured. Um, that allows a chemical company to sell us things that you cannot buy because of the protection that gives them, you know, oh yeah, well, you know, you can't sue us, sue your exterminator if someone gets poisoned or someone gets hurt. It's not going to happen if if you're if you know if your tech knows what they're doing you're not going to get hurt at all. Um, it's a very safe application you know for pesticide application as long as you follow your label and we do because you know we're held a, a very high standard. Um, most exterminators you know you you want to make sure that they're willing to spray some kind of a chemical application on top of the heat treatment. Now you can go with a heat treatment it might work for you, but um, like I said, the safest, most cost effective is chemical application. Now, I do charge more for a chemical application um, for a bed bug job. I don't I don't categorize them in what I would consider general pest control like cockroaches and fleas and stuff like that. I don't, uh, because I'm having to practically rearrange your house, I've got to lift your beds, I've got to lift your box springs, I've got to, you know, move your furniture, flip up your couches and look under your couches and all the different things you need to do. And, um, it's a lot of work. It's an awful lot of work. And I get paid to work, <laughs> you know. Uh, two, well, one thing, uh, and this is just to, to kind of close my video off here, 
and uh, I know it's been going on for almost 10 minutes now uh, I don't want to take all your time but I myself had a problem the other day it's been about a couple weeks and I went up to my mattress and I found casings on my box spring now I had just done a bed bug job for a lady I thought oh no I've done brought them home that is a you know, it is a concern with exterminators that you're going to bring them into your own house with flea, fleas, real common usually, uh, but bed bugs as well. Because when you're flipping people's mattresses and turning over their box spring and inspecting and everything, it's possible they'll run up on you. You won't even know they were there and take them home. Um, people bring them into other people's homes all the time in their pockets, their clothing, and everything. Because, like I said, they can live in your closets and get in your clothes. But so, anyway, I found casings on my mattress. And now, the casings of a younger, like a nymph, bed bug is it's kind of small it's kind of hard to really identify really well if they get all smushed and broken up it's kind of hard to tell what they are and uh so just, just this is gonna be in my defense because <laughs> um for two days i couldn't sleep yeah you know, i'd wake up in the middle of the night i'd scratch myself thinking oh no i'm being bit i've got bed bugs on me and uh turned out it was carpet beetles now this is one thing in my in my line of work that i have found that is definitely misidentified as bed bugs all the time and even by me and I've been doing this for 28 years um, carpet beetles what they do is they're like they're like a little worm it's about you know so so small now a bed bugs about the size of an apple seed a lot of people don't realize that they are a pretty good size a carpet beetle is about a quarter of that size so you but when you know the skins of a bed bug are you know like I said I did get confused by the skins because they do have casings just like bed bugs because they hatch out like a caterpillar so you do have those little cocoon leftover cocoons and stuff uh laying around and so what carpet beetles do is they'll get into your sweaters they get into your carpet fibers they get into uh they'll they are attracted to uh rodents yeah if you have a problem with mice and you may have killed three or four mice in the house and you have dead mice like in the walls they're attracted to those to the carcasses the leather um they like natural fibers and leathers and things like that so they will get in your house they're attracted to those kinds of things they get in and uh you can have an allergic reaction to a carpet beetle much like the same as a bite from a bed bug so don't be alarmed it's important to have your house thoroughly inspected before you decide on whether or not you're going to even treat for bed bugs it may not be bed bugs if it's carpet beetles they're so easy to get rid of it's you know you don't have to work near as hard to get rid of carpet beetles as you do for bed bugs so um that's all for today uh i have a video coming up soon i haven't i haven't quite figured out how i'm gonna uh you know I, I, it's a lot to have to go over about um how to pick uh how to choose a good exterminator what it takes to be a good exterminator and so i plan on releasing that in the future uh probably in about a week or so hopefully if i can get the time together to throw it together for you but uh, it may be a several parts, you know, maybe like part one, part two, something like that, because it is a lot of information to have to go over. And I don't want to make you sit here. I mean, it's already been like 13 minutes now as far as my timer. So I don't want to, you know, make you sit here and listen to me ramble on and on forever. But um, anyway, I hope the information has been helpful to you. Uh, just, you know, I'm local to Charlottesville, Virginia, all surrounding counties, uh, all the way down as, as far as Lynchburg. If, you know, you ever need me, if you, you know, you want to call me, advice I'm, I'm more than welcome to, to answer any questions you have and uh, my website is greenacrespc.com and I'll of course all that stuff will be linked in the info below uh, like and subscribe like I said you want to subscribe anyway because I've got that video coming up soon about how to pick a good exterminator I think it's gonna be a really good one um, and just uh, you know comment and let me know anything you've ever had any, any bed bug experience you've had you know don't uh, you can treat me like a sport group <laughs> let me know your problems and I'll, and I'll, I'll, I like to listen. I like to help wherever I can. So, uh, y'all have a good one.